Ready, family? Yes, yes? Yes. So I'm going to go through a lot of information in a short period of time. On your phone, if you have a digital recorder, that's going to help you. So if you have, I mean, and you can download an app recorder or if you have one on your phone. And I'll tell you why, because the average person only retains 10% of what they hear, and as fast as I talk, you'll only retain five. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes. And so understanding how to do anything is really repetition is the mother of learning. It's doing it over and over and over again. So if you learn mathematics, you're going to take out flashcards. Four times four is 16. Six times six is 36. You're going to keep going over the flashcards. If you learn Spanish, you're going to put down the conjugated verb to, you know, to speak, hablar. You're going to put down conocer, to know. Whatever language you're learning, you're going to actually have to go over and over and over again. It's repetition. Everybody with me on that so far? So this is not rocket scientists, it's just a lot of information. I'm going to go through the basics. And then if you record it and go back and listen to it, it's going to make a lot more sense. You're going to keep having aha moments, though, actually let you know that, right? So this is pretty much uh, getting started. We actually have an outline. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm going to go through what it takes in a quick start training in depth. I strongly encourage each one of you guys, I know everyone can't make it, but if you can, move some things around. Because I am in town, it is worth coming to the training tomorrow. I'm actually going to put a lot of thought and process into making sure that you guys get what it takes for a person from A to Z within your first 30 days of what you should be doing and being able to launch somebody and get somebody started. What happens is when you have a lot of leaders come in and then the actual, because I'm, I'm, I'm the alpha, if you will. you got the alpha to the omega. Are you right with me on that so far? So it's a whisper down the lane. If I tell him something, by the time it gets to him, it's a whole different conversation. And that's what's going on with the leadership. It's starting at the top. It goes from Nanada to Boris, and it's going down and down. And there's a lot of things getting lost in between that. Is everybody with me on that so far? So what I want to do is I want to sew that up so that you guys have direct links to me so that you get 100%. That does not mean remove your upline leadership. It just means that I want to collapse the time frame so that wherever the gaps are, wherever you're missing gaps, just like Ocean knows, if I have a problem, he'll have a phone call. When he got stuck, he made one phone call. We got on the phone. I put some stuff together, and since then, he's been back on track with, with just on excitement level because you will hit. If you drive a truck down the street, how many people know you're guaranteed to hit a pothole? Okay? <laughs> you can't drive and not expect to hit a pothole. So my job is to make it, not to, not to avoid the potholes, but make it easier to know how to get through those potholes without having to get stuck. Make sense? Yes. Okay. So this is getting started. Number one, there's a lot within the word decision. I'm very powerful when it comes down to words decide. DE comes from the Latin derivative there which it came from. Side goes along with suicide, genocide, petricide. It means to cut off every other option. It's a great pre-qualifier. Before I sit down with an individual and I even ask them if they want to be a part of the business, I'm going to ask them, if I show you a business that can actually replace your current income, double your income, think about how old you are. It's taking you, let's say you're 18 years old, let's say you're 30 or 40 years old. Let's say it's taking you 40 years to get to the income level you're at right now. This is a break, this is what I call a peak. We were talking about peak in the car. If I could show you how to match, double, or triple your current income, was taking your whole life to get to in less than 18 months on a part-time basis of 15 to 20 hours a week and you create your own hours, would you want to know how that looks? That's a pre-qualifier. If I show you a business opportunity that could put an extra five grand in your pocket in the next 60 days on a part-time basis based on the fact that you need some more money in your bank account, could you make a decision on that? I don't, I don't need you to say, yes, I'll get in. I just need you to be able to say no or yes. Because I don't deal in, it sounds good, it, let me think about it, let me get back to you. I want people like if I ask you, are you hungry right now? See how quickly you said yes? You guys follow me on that so far? Find people that know how to make a decision, and it'll make your life a lot easier. Everybody with me on that so far? You present the opportunity, find people that can say yes or no. That's it. Not people that oscillate, hesitate, procrastinate, create stress in your life, and then die. All right? So find those type of people. So the first thing I'm doing is when I share the opportunity with an application, I'm saying, I need you to make a decision whether you want to do this or not. The second thing you need to understand is why. These are almost, you know, they go hand in hand. You have to know why you're doing this business. Meaning we say if your why doesn't make you cry, it's not big enough. If you have a child, you have a why. If you have parents that are sick, you have a why. If you have somebody that just went through foreclosure or is about to lose their house, they have a why. If somebody has a huge dream, that's a why. But you have to have something that wakes you up in the middle of the night and puts you to bed at night that you work until fatigue that is hopeful, not just stressing you. Is that making sense? 
one of the best, best questions, like when I ask somebody, I'm going to ask somebody, do you have a dream? What is your dream? Somebody says, well, I never really thought about it. I don't want them on my team because that's somebody who's going to be dead with. They have nothing. They're just wandering generalities. They have nothing in which they're building for anything with hope, with nothing with the spirit behind it. Does that make sense? So find people that have a huge why. For me, at the time when I first started in the business, I wanted to retire my mother and my father. I saw my father get up every day at 5 o'clock in the morning and not finish until 1 o'clock at night. And that was an ongoing process, like Osha said, my whole life. I was blessed out of this opportunity to retire both my mother and my father three years earlier than the time that they were supposed to retire. I walked off my job within, six, within 12 months. I was able to match and double my current income of what I worked on as a, as, as a job, if you will. So, I mean, I hated working for somebody else. I mean, I don't know if everybody here owns their own business, but me, I hated a job. Can anybody relate to that conversation? Okay. I, I hated working for somebody else, telling me what time to wake up, what time to get off, trying to tell me I'm hungry at 12 o'clock, I'm hungry at 10. Right? <laughs> so you got to have a why of something that drives you when you finally can believe in something and hope for something greater than what you have. Second step is you're going to fill out the application. You're going to put an application like they did in a person's hand. If they don't have the money, we have another conversation. We'll figure out how to get you paid in full. We'll figure, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at, I have a, write this down. A person that doesn't pay, doesn't pay attention. A person that doesn't pay, doesn't pay attention. So I have helped, like if I'm personally sponsoring somebody, I'll come together and I have communities that will come together and help somebody and say, okay, you come over 250, I'll come over 250, and you post take me a check for two weeks. For somebody who I'm personally working with and I'm personally sponsoring, I will never pay for somebody's entire $500. So I'm sharing with you guys, don't do it because it's going to be a waste of your money and your time unless it's your brother, cousin, sister, or somebody you really love that you're going to die with that you know you can go back and get it from. Outside of that, when a person does not pay, they do not pay attention. And it's not just in the denomination of money, it's also in time, effort, and just what I call sweat equity. Everybody with me on that, yes? The most important meeting you can have after looking at the presentation is a 24-hour meeting. It's the meeting after the meeting. It's not this meeting, so if you're looking at it for the first time, it's whoever is sponsoring you that you sit down with them the very next day and write this also down and recall it on your notes. You can't make excuses and money at the same time. Excusitis is the most deadly disease that exists underneath the sun. <laughs> People, everyone has an excuse. Well, I was going to, but I had, and well, this, and I got a this. And most people are busy being broke. <laughs> Everybody catch that? And that's not just about money. That's just most people are busy being broke. So I like to make sure that I'm going to be responsible. If I'm you as a leader and I'm sponsoring him in the business, I'm, I'm, not, I'm excited that he's going to fill out an application and get started, but I'm more excited when I know he's sitting down with me the next day. Because within that 24-hour day, I said the devil is a liar. The devil will show up at the... How many people have ever come into finding an extra $50 or an extra $100 or you got an extra $3,000 in taxes or something, and right after you got that, whatever you found, something came up that cost you. Your car, your brakes, something. Somebody needed some money, a family member. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. See, as soon as you get excited about a concept, it's going to be somebody there waiting to steal your dream from you. It's not, and you can always remember this. That's why I said record. You got to record it? You record it for me? Okay. It's never a person with a knife or gun. It's always a family member or a friend who says it can't be done. It's your worst nightmare. Did everybody get that? It's always going to be the people closest to you that have the most amount of opinions and suck the life out of your dream. They're going to tell you, well, I was in one of those things. My friend was in one of those things. I heard about those things before. I heard about a job before. Are you guys with me on that so far? <laughs> so, I know that didn't work for me. So let me talk you out of working a job. You're going to talk me out of wanting to be wealthy. Let's see which one's going to win this conversation. So that 24-hour meeting, so what would happen is if I sit down and usher so for the first time tonight and I set a meeting up for him tomorrow, let's say he gets off work hypothetically at 6 o'clock, if in turn, which will happen, he talks to his girlfriend or he talks to his mom or he talks to somebody tonight, they're probably going to discourage him because they don't know what they're talking about. Is everybody with me on that so far? Mm -hmm. You can't talk about neurology if you didn't go to school for neurology. But everybody's going to have an opinion. People have an opinion about black people all day long. People have an opinion about Jewish people all day long. But you can't tell me about me and you aren't me. Is everybody following me on that so far? Yes. So you have to stay true to what you're doing and why you're doing it. In that being said, it still will take you from a height of excitement here to down here because people are going to get in your head and have conversations. But if I have an appointment set up with him for 24 hours from now, if he's coming in through me, I can then reinforce, is that person going to be there when you have a flat tire? 
Is that person going to be there when you need to stay up? Is, is that person going to be there to loan you $100 when you need it? Or is that person just giving you opinions? See, I'm that person that's going to be, if I'm sponsoring you, that person, I'm asking you to get into business with me. I'm not asking you to come in and give me your money and lose it. I'm asking, can we make $500 an hour together? So I'm asking you to be my business partner. Is that person contributing to your life or are they just giving you their opinion? Because the I, I, last time I checked, you can't deposit an opinion. <laughs> so everybody with me on that so far? So everybody wants to tear down the 3%, but the 3% employ the 97%. 97% of people on this planet end up working for the 3%. And those 3%, I mean the Wright brothers, if they listen to anybody, we wouldn't have planes. Now there's a traffic jam at JF JFK. Everybody with me on that so far? If anybody listen, if Edison listened to anybody, he would have stopped. They asked him, and many of you might have heard this. They asked him in an interview, how did you go through 10,000 failures on how to create the condescent light bulb? Anybody hear that one before? He said, no, I, I did not fail 10,000 times. I figured out 10,000 ways it doesn't work, and I'm the only one who knows how it works. And that's how you succeed in life. So as you go through getting qualified, in this 24-hour meeting, what I'm going to do is sit down with an individual. I'm going to help them get qualified. To get qualified means they need to sign up three services. Because remember, each person is a store. So immediately I'm going to sign them up on three services through internal consumption because I don't want to have to market something I haven't tried myself. So I'm attempting to get as many services on myself as possible before I leverage my relationship with somebody who I love and not know what I'm getting them involved with. Is everybody with me on that so far? Second, I'm going to make a list and check it, check it twice like Santa. <laughs> you want to make a list of everyone that you know and you want to make a power list of 20. A power list of 20 and if you want you can go on YouTube and pull up my, pull up my, um, my YouTube, go to Byron Nelson ACN on YouTube. I have all kinds of stuff on there. But there's one specifically on the list that I'm coaching you guys you should go and look at. Watch what I say and teach on how to work your list. Why? Because to acquire your customers, you want to make a list of 10 I love you's and 10 I owe you's. <laughs> That's where your customers are going to come from. You don't need a whole lot. But if you, I mean, if a person says, well, you know, I just can't acquire a customer, that means that you did something wrong in your life because you should be able to find a few people that would do something just because it's you. Is that making sense? Yes. To save money on a bill that they already have. In this 24-hour meeting, we have the qualifications, we have the list, we have the fast start bonus. So this is the fast start bonus. This is what I'm going to go over with the person when I first sit down with them. And we're going to set a goal to knock out a minimum of $650 in the first seven days. Seven days, $650, $650, seven days, seven days, $650, $650, seven, six, fifty, seven days. Seven days, six fifty. Write it down. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to help them acquire from that 10 I love you's and 10 I owe you's a minimum of 15 services. That very next week they're going to send a check for $250 and feed 50 kids. I'm going to help them get their first two business partners on their team. So to hit the position of executive team trainer looks like this. This is you, and you have two business partners. They got qualified with three services each, and you personally have 15 services, and now that makes you an executive team trainer. Is everybody with me on that so far? Yes. Who in here right now is an ETT? Just stand up so I know who's in here is an ETT. Executive team trainer. So we have a few ETTs in the room. Everybody with me on that so far? We got at least four. So if you have one, you guys got four, they can show you how to get to executive team trainers. Everybody with me on that so far? That's going to generate me $650. Then I'm going to shoot for ETL in 30 days or less. Not 60 days. Write down, never let your minimums be your maximums. Never let your minimums be your maximums. Somebody says do 15 push-ups, I'm doing 20. Someone says do 20 crunches, I'm doing 30. You always go beyond the call of duty and be task-oriented. Task-oriented, finish task. Not, I did my best, I tried, you finish the task. Some people will finish in two days, some will finish in seven, some will finish in seven months. It doesn't matter. Don't stop until you finish the task. So one of the things I learned is you never stop until you finish. Everybody with me on that, yes? The key to this is after that, that part of it, the fast start bonus of understanding ETL, which I won't cover tonight, but ETT for the majority of you is what it's going to take. At ETL, you're now in a position of making an additional 7000 per month. So how many people like you started, got two promotions, and you're up for $84,000 a year in your first 30 days? Is that a good tip? Okay. That's the training. You need to get to ETL within 30. Some people will take 60 days. Some will take 90 days. 
just finish the task. 3,000 a month is not bad on a part-time basis of five to 10 hours a week. Would you guys agree with that? Okay. PBR, that stands for private business reception. So that's a home meeting. Well, what if I don't want to invite people to my home? Maybe I don't stay at home. Maybe I stay at home with my family and they don't want people coming to the house. How many people have heard of my friend Starbucks? Anybody else heard? I got another friend who'll feed you breakfast. His name is Denny's. Okay, all you need is about three to five people to meet anywhere to be able to share the opportunity and have a conversation with them. Does that make sense? A store that makes the money. This is like real estate to me. Oh, we would get paid on that. <laughs> this is like real estate to me. The one who shows the property to the most amount of people is the one who's going to find the willing buyer. Does that make sense? You aren't a salesperson, you're a share person. So please write that down so you understand in your head, I must become great at sharing information. That's all you want to do. From the FSB to the marketing plan to training the PBR here, this is what I want you to do for those that are taking copious notes. Write down theempireteam.com. TheEmpireTeam.com, TheEmpireTeam.com, and click on training. Under there, you'll see a kid that I actually taught. His name is Brian Sachs. Brian Sachs actually went to Princeton. He actually passed up going to the Olympics to study directly underneath. Are you guys with me on that so far? So, I mean, and now because of that, he literally is one of the top 50 money earners in the world in network marketing. He actually is sanctioned for me and the company to go open up countries. So when Australia opened, my income jumped again, an additional $20,000 per week for six months straight. How many people think that's a good raise? $20,000 a week. I, didn't, I, didn't, I hadn't seen anybody in Australia until two years after the country was open. The same thing is going to happen in Australia, I mean, I'm sorry, in Mexico, in South America, in Israel, in Russia, and throughout the rest of the world with 40 other countries about to open up but we have to have the right leader who wants to launch that area. Does that make sense? Okay. PBR, so you have theempireteam.com. You want to go to the training there. Customer acquisition is pretty much right here. I'm going to go more in depth on that tomorrow on how to acquire the customers. And we were having a conversation outside with a few people about, I would stray away from gas and electricity right now because we are not competitive. I do not sell a product or a service for a dollar just to push it on somebody because of my, my, relationship, my relationship and my integrity is everything. Now, I've offered services to people that love me that say, look, even if it's $2 more, I'll try it just because it's you. I've actually had a product before where it came up to where they were paying $80 and mine may be paying $90. And then I go give them a gift card for $100 just to offset it because I'm a business person and I still want their business and they don't mind doing it for me. Does that make sense? You guys with me on that? Yeah. But whatever you do, make sure that integrity is the underlying process to everything that you do. Do not just acquire customers because people will do it for you. You will ruin some of your greatest relationships because they are trusting you. Does that make sense? Okay. Training as a student. Three industries you need to become a student of. Number one, you need to become a student of leadership. I said lead, follow, or get out of the way, or get trampled on. In a pack of wolves or a pack of dogs, only the lead dog knows where they're going. Everybody else has a smell of you. That's going to catch you guys in the parking lot. Okay. <laughs> so leadership is everything. Is everybody with me on that so far? The second thing is you want to become a student of the industry of network marketing. So I will go pick up a book called Your First Year in Network Marketing that a few of you guys are reading. And also the 45 second uh, presentation that will change my life. The 45 second presentation that will change my life. Because once you learn how to do a presentation, for many of you, you're busy. I can do this business on two minutes a day, add up to about 20 minutes. So, did we get one for 10 minutes? Yeah. This goes in if I train you personally on how long it takes to do a presentation. So, anybody want time? You got a timer on there? So number one, the company has been around since 1993. Powerful, I mean, that's powerful. Why? Because 95% of all companies fell in the first 12 months. We've been around for 20 years. Of the 20 years, 5,000 companies, literally 4,950 of them are gone. We're in 23 countries. Great Britain, Germany, Sweden, Holland, Netherlands, Norway, Canada, Austria, Ireland, Italy, Spain, France, Australia, New Zealand, Poland, Canada. We're about to open up Mexico and South America. If you like getting paid in currencies you can't pronounce, this is the best business on the planet. If you like to travel, shop, and eat like I do, it's the best business underneath the sun. In that, what you're looking at is between Inc., Fortune, Forbes, USA Today, and Success Magazine, they can't all be lying about the same company. 
you look at number two and you see that we're able to save people money on gas, electricity, their cell phone, internet, cable, and they already have these services. They already have DirecTV, Cox, they already have Time Warner. So all we do is save people money on a bill that they already have. You do it one time, you get paid every month forever. Is that exciting? Yes. Yes or yes? Yes. Okay. Number three, we help people save money because what we're doing is we aren't spending millions of dollars in a commercial, a billboard, or a bus stop. All we do is eliminate traditional methods of marketing and do word of mouth. How did I meet every one of you here? Off of a referral. Number four, it cost me $4.99 to make more money in one month than most people make in a year. On that in itself, just the $10.99 will get you a 500% return on your money. And I'll show you how you'll have 3,000 employees that you don't have to pay payroll on just to start your own business. Work from a laptop from any beach of the road that you choose. Number five, you're actually going to get 10% on every customer that you acquire. You're going to tell two people about the business. They're going to come in. They're going to get 10%, but they're going to be your stores. You're going to get a quarter percent off of all the work you didn't do. How many people like getting paid on work you didn't do? Off of two people, seven generations down, and each person acquiring 20 services with an average bill of $40, you're making over 11000 a month. If you quit, what happens to your money? It keeps coming because your customers don't know you quit. You look at that. You go to number eight, these are stair steps to you getting now money because the residual income took me 90 days to get a $22 check that turned into $20,000. But I need money now. I can't wait 90 days for a check. So you're able to make it upwards of $1,300, $1,400 $1, up front in your first 30 days. And this is a stair step that can take you up to $50,000, plus thousand dollars a month, taking your mind off of waiting for the residual to grow. The key to this is getting trained. And number 10, if you aren't willing to get trained, don't do the business. It's a health gym. On New Year's Eve, everybody says, I want to make money, get in shape. New Year's Day, they get a membership. Some never work out, and they never look good. But you still have the gym available to you. <coughs> How much time was that? Two minutes and 40 seconds. Two minutes and 40 seconds. So one through 10. <laughs> 10 a day will make your bills go away. So let's round it off to three minutes. 10 times three is 15 minutes a day. You've talked to 10 people a day for three minutes and then invited them to come and meet me or come to a training. That's it. That's all it is. Because either they're going to get it or they aren't going to get it. Is everybody with me on that so far? Yes. So I mean, if I speak Russian and you speak Russian, we'll understand each other. If I speak Portuguese and you speak Russian, we aren't going to understand each other. We can say the same thing. But even from a spiritual perspective, if we're talking the same language, we're going to understand each other. We can say the same thing, but be coming from two different perspectives. Is everybody following me on that so yes. far? That's where the training comes in. You have to be a student of one, leadership to the industry and three you need to know your company inside and out well what do I mean by the company well our company started in 1995 when we first started we started in long distance we started as an outsourced marketing arm for LCI International as that happened the stock for LCI went from 11 to 32 dollars a share and split twice in the first three years by the fifth year in business we created one of the top five merchants in the history of telecom with Quest in five years, that stock went from $11 to $92 a share with four splits. Me just buying the shares and the IPO and the stock allowed me to retire my parents early. That leveraged us to making well in excess of $90 million in our first five years. By the year 2000, we were already up and going and diversified into all the services that you know today. And all the founders were in their early 30s and said, we could sell the company, walk away with millions of dollars, or we can create millionaires. And that's where you have me standing in front of you. See by getting this conversation. Yes. You have to know the founders, the history of the company, how it launched, where it came from. It's all online. So you need to be a student of the industry, the company, and of leadership. Then you also need to understand the presence that we have. For those that aren't on Facebook, I say create a Facebook presence just to be able to get in. You don't have to be in social networks, but at least get into my page. Because I have a plethora of information for you to access in a private page called uh, Matrix White Jackets. We, that's for only the crazy people. That's what it's for. That's why it's called Matrix White Jackets. In there I have crazy information for people who want to make crazy money. Is everybody with me on that so far? Okay. Is it helpful? Yes. It's, it's off the chain. This right here is a communication you guys have not been using. It's called 313131. On your cell phone, you should type in 313131. And in the body, you should put Matrix Group. In that, now every time I send out a message, you will know, just like I think two of the gentlemen in here got somebody started in, that are in Los Angeles. So when I do meetings in Los Angeles, you'll know where the meetings are. If you have, I have meetings in Chicago. You can send people. How many people are getting paid? You're right here. You're getting paid in other states or country, and you have to do nothing. So they'll be able to plug into me. Like yesterday, I was in Baltimore. 
today I'm in New York, tomorrow I'll be in New York, the following day I'll be in San Francisco, the following day I'll be in Chicago, and the following day I'll be in Los Angeles again. So you can plug somebody into me wherever I am, wherever, wherever I'm not, I have someone equivalently yoked with me that is just as powerful that will help you build your business while you sit right here. So there's nothing like starting a leader in another demographic and you getting checks and you did nothing but say go to a meeting. Are y'all with me on that so far? Okay. The Matrix Group. You have to go to the website. It's called thematrixgroup.com. That is our personal website. Matrix, by the way, if you don't understand, stands for making a team realize its expectations. That's what it stands for. The whole philosophy is that you have to have a consortium of people. It's easier to run with three than to drag a thousand. Everybody with me on that? Yes? I know I'm going fast. Are you guys with me? Yes. It looks like I just like <laughs> a deer with headlights on. I just need y'all know y'all here with me, okay? Uh, this is my email for anybody that wants to be in communication with me. It's Mr. Dot Byron Nelson at gmail.com. <laughs> Mr. Dot Byron Nelson at gmail.com. So anybody that wants to get in touch with me or needs communication, that's how you do it. That's the basics of getting trained. Now I'm just going to give you one more piece of this and we'll be done. Are you guys with me? Yes? Yes. Yes? Everybody else? Yes? Yes. yes. I want you guys to watch the basketball game. I want you guys to play with me. Come on. Alright, so the five things, the last thing, the five things I want you guys to become extraordinary with. This is what I'm going to train on tomorrow. If you want to make a lot of money in this business, I'm going to give you the five points that you have to get great at. Number one, you have to learn how to peak. P-I-Q-U-E. The mastery of a peak is just, there is no way if you're asking the right question that someone will say no to you. If you see somebody on the street and they haven't eaten in three days and you ask them, are you hungry, what are they going to say? Yes. It's called relationship marketing. So you're relating to that person. If you see somebody that has a beautiful child and a woman's walking up the street and you ask her, it's like, oh, that's a beautiful child. I just have a question. Is their college education paid for? Uh, no. I mean, she's only three months old. <laughs> Excellent. I'm working on a project that allows a child to have their entire college education paid for before they hit kindergarten. Would you be interested in the project? You guys follow me on that so far? There's so many ways in which I work from a 501c3, from a child perspective, a single mother perspective, whatever it is that actually, wherever you, for, I mean, I have a 25-25 crew, which many of you should be interested in. That's 25 millionaires under the age of 25. How many people like that program? Mm -hmm. So you want to get into the white matrix, uh, the, the matrix group program and be able to let me know about that? But is everybody with me? Yes? yes? Yes. So, I mean, that's a whole different mindset that starts with thinking grow rich. It's a whole different mindset of servant, servant leadership. It's a whole different mindset of how to develop yourself at warp speed mentally and to know how to be able to build and touch and move everybody that you come across. It's developing a specific conversation. So, learning how to peak and then pass is one technique. Number two, is learning the enrollment process. We were talking about this in the car driving here. Most people, they're piquing someone's interest and then just inviting them to a meeting. That's not how this is done. You pique someone's interest, I ask you, are you open to making money outside of what you're doing? Excellent. Can we meet tomorrow over coffee? That's where the relationship is going to be forged, is being able to sit down with somebody. People don't follow widgets, gadgets, and gadgets. They aren't going to get excited about a lot of money. They will get excited about building something that is real and knowing that they have your support if you're going to build with them and building that forging, that relationship. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Okay? So that's a whole other process in itself. Number three is the presentation. Well, we just covered that part. There's a difference in conversation of somebody talking about, well, what is it that you, that you do actually? Well, what I do is um, I help people save money on their bills and I help people make money and I build teams and I bring people in and they get customers versus a conversation that I would have that allowed me to bring in the fifth largest billionaire in the world and being able to talk to him and say, what I do is I help people stray and move away from where they're currently at into another space of having diversified streams of income. Just like if you talk to a stockbroker, you're going to have a diversified portfolio. Here's my question, do you have residual bills? He's going to say yes. Your bills come in every month, so your bills are residual. He says yes. Would you like to have residual income? That means you work in 2014, 15, and 16 quit 
add up three years of income and it's paid to you whether you get out of bed or not. That's called leverage. That's making your time and your money work for you, you not work for your time and money. That conversation is going to be much more attractive to a high-end professional than, well, what is it exactly that you do? Well, I help people save money on their bills. Are you guys following me on that so far? Yes. So you have to up the ante. Do, would you guys agree that a doctor and a doctor have a different conversation than a doctor and a sick person? Okay, and an attorney and a judge have a different conversation than an attorney and a cop. Right. Then you have to up your ante and understand what a professional conversation looks like and sounds like in order to attract the caliber of people that you want to come on your team. Does this make sense? Yes. Okay. So presentation, I'm covering that tomorrow evening. Number four is a quick start training. You need to know exactly what to do, which I'm covering in detail tomorrow, when I sit down with somebody in 24 hours, exactly what you need to do from start to finish, which you sit down with them in the beginning. What I, what I laid out before this picture was too much information, but it, it was what I want you guys to get as a whole. You want to be able to hit three bullet points and have somebody off and running how do you raise somebody's belief in this business? Get them a check. <laughs> the faster they get a check, the less questions you have to deal with. Yes or yes? Yes. Our job is to get people a lot of checks. Number five is closing. In closing, what I teach is really five, one, two, three, and four. Because I close from the time that I start to the time that I finish. It's not a wham, bam, you aren't selling a house. You aren't selling a car. You're closing somebody for a lifetime of a relationship to build a dynasty, to build generational wealth. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Okay. The last thing that will be complete. Is this helping everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm going to show you the magic of the business. Just the last thing I'll share with you just to give you another teaser for tomorrow. How the money is made. Now, you have ETT, which looks like this. You have ETL which looks like this. You have three legs, and each one of them have done ETT. I'm not including the customers necessary, I'm just giving you the picture. You have team coordinator, which looks like this. So if you have three legs with 200 customer points in each one, that really comes down to about three legs that have about 60 customers in each leg. For a person who's crazy, you can actually do this in 30 days, especially with your community and the way you guys came together. It really only takes about 30, 60 days maximum to finish this picture up, but it takes a power of focus. Positions, I need to be clear, positions don't make you money. Positions position you to make money. Does everybody follow me on that? Yeah. I know a lot of people with a JD, with an MD, with an MBA, and they're broke. So titles don't make you money. But isn't it good to be in a position to make an extra $30,000 a month? Yep. Okay? In order to be able to get to that position, it's going to take you where you need to be. So my job is to find the people. I only need about three people in this room that want to finish out team coordinator in record time. That's what it comes down to. Now in that, once you understand the marketing plan, even the RD, two-thirds of the marketing plan, because there's only two, three positions after this one, so you have ETT, ETL, TC, RD. Two-thirds of the marketing plan are all predicated on having three driving lines. Three lines that are driving. I'm going to cover that tomorrow on how you find that third of those three people. You want to find three five-star generals. But look at this right here. If you brought in two people who brought in two people who brought in two people who brought in two people, that's what it looks like. If you brought in three people, What is 178, right? 87. 87, you're right, it is 87. Inverted. Okay. What's the difference between these two lines? One person. Are you going to let them learn? Because you're in my class, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the difference? It's one person. It's just one person. It's just three people. It's the difference of me teaching three people that will teach three people that will teach three people versus me looking at 2,000 people. So my business right now grows at an additional 2,500 customers every 24 hours. My business grows at an additional 10,000 new representatives every 30 days without me. So if I go to sleep for the next five years, it's still going to exponentially grow 
and it's going to, I mean, last, last year it was growing at about 1,500 customers. This year it's growing at about 2,500 customers every 24 hours that goes into the system. And that's all because I just trained about five to six key individuals. So I go into an area, I go through thousands of people to find one crazy person like Osher, like Yo, like anybody who's serious, and I find out over a period of time who's going to stand. This is not a get rich game. This is a person who has a three to five year game plan that knows three to five years is going to come anyway. So when I looked at it, I actually, I'm going to say this in closing, I had a mentor and he taught me, he said, Byron, what would happen if we built you a team of about, you know, 10,000 people and at the end of about, he said, you know, I mean, because right now my business is doing about 10,000 reps a month, so he was doing way more than me. He said, what would happen at the end of the year, you had 10,000 reps and the following year 999 quit, how would you feel? I'm like, that's a pyramid, that's a waste of my time, why would you do something like that? I was like, I wouldn't want to do anything like that. He said, that's because you have the wrong perspective. He said, the perspective is, what if we built you a team of 10,000 people and they all acquired 10 customers? He said, how many customers is that? I said, 10 times 10,000, that's about a million. He said, now how many months is in a year? I said, 12. He said, so you're doing a million dollars a month times 12. That's a $12 million a year business. He said, how would you feel now? I said, I feel great. He said, you shouldn't. I said, why? He said, just listen to what you said in the first conversation. You said that you thought that it was one of those things, which means you will probably be one of those, really, 9,999 people that quit. <laughs> he said, you have to be the first and the last one standing, because what's going to happen is, in a health gym, there's a reason why there is a winter sale. There's a reason why there's a summer and a spring and a fall sale. Is everybody with me on that so far? Yeah. Because they expect people not to use the gym. <laughs> They open it up knowing that there's only going to be about 10 to 15 percent that actually ever use the gym and only 5 percent that take it seriously. That's why the owner makes all the money. Your job is not to guarantee somebody's success. Your job is to guarantee they have an environment that is conducive to succeed if they choose powerfully to succeed. And that's why I'm out here two hours away in a drive to be able to talk to you guys. To let you know we have a gym. It's guaranteed to succeed if you stay in the gym to work out. We have too much documentation, too much success, and been around too long. It's not a theory anymore. It's extraordinary. In fact, all we are is a people-oriented business with the greatest services underneath the sun, with the greatest comp plan. I'm not looking for the newest and the best. I want to know that something has already worked, he's done it, and he's willing to show me how to do it. The greatest product and service that is going to be launched is coming out in about six months. It's going to make everybody's head spin. Because you guys remember Blockbuster, right? Right. No longer exists. You guys remember cassette tapes, some of you, right? I mean, you're talking about Circuit City doesn't even exist anymore, right? So we got things that come and go all the time. Would everybody agree with that? Right. I mean, only 10 years ago, everybody was on dial-up. Now everybody, I mean, you're an antique if you have dial -up. So we know that there's something that's moving information that's going to be phenomenal coming out in about six months to a year that's going to blow everybody away. You know what it is? Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Deregulations aren't here. Do you know what it is? Me either. It hasn't come out yet. But we're going to have it. And people are going to use it. And they're going to get paid. <laughs> All of us are going to get royally paid off of it because people are going to, because do you understand when I just, I got to tell you this, when I had long distance, we got to, I got to a $20,000, $30,000 a month income off of long distance by itself. Long distance at the time was a 20, it was a 60, long distance by itself was a $16 bill. Then local kicked in, that turned into a $33 bill. Then gas and electricity kicked in, that turned into a now $100 bill. Now internet came onto that where you have bundling, that turned into a $120 bill. You add everything to a cable and everything in somebody's house, the average household is spending between three and five hundred dollars per household for a regular house of three. Just off of an apartment. Are you guys following me on that so far? What do you think is going to happen over a period of time when all we're doing is offering essential services that people have to use? When it gets hot, is everybody going to turn on an air conditioner? Yeah. yeah. When it gets cold, is everybody going to have on the heater? So it's just a matter of waiting out the time till we work out the rest of the bugs because just like when they came out with the first computer, think about the first iPhone. We're already on what, the sixth iPhone? So yeah, there's going to be bugs along the way, but they're going to be tweaked and we're going to be in a position to take advantage of everything that's there. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes? Yes. yes. Beautiful. So does that help? Absolutely. So now you guys get a chance to make a decision to fill out that application, come meet me tomorrow. 
and then identify yourself through an email to let me know who seriously wants me to work with them personally because we're going to blow these next six months out of the water. I just need a handful of people because it's easier to run with three than to drag a thousand. <laughs> so I don't need everybody. I just need about five people that are sitting in this community that want to just take my information and become a beast. And I work for claps. I'm done. Woo!